Hey everybody, Rich Lang down here in the uh, Prep U bunker chemistry area. No, just kidding. Uh, it's just the bunker here down at Prep U. And yes, I know before you comment, I have cut the top of my head off. Uh, but that's, there's a reason because I wanted you to see this area right here. Because what we're going to be doing is uh, a few weeks ago in our weekly update, I talked about the uh, my tip of the week was how to make... Uh, hand sanitizer two different ways, the easy way and the better way. And that's what we're going to do now. Um, we're going to uh, just go through this. I'm going to make it for you. I'm going to show you some tips uh, that you can do. And this is something you should be carrying with you at all times. Remember in the five things you should always carry video uh, and the update, I think we added like seven or eight things. One of these, a container of this stuff should be with you at all times. But let's, why don't we get into this? I'm not sure how long this is going to take. shouldn't take too long, uh, but we are going to make our own hand sanitizer. The number one thing when you go out to buy your isopropyl alcohol, you want to end up with something that's at least 70%. So start with something, you know, at least 91% because you're going you're gonna to mix it up with other stuff. And if you remember from your chemistry class, um, as you cut items... Uh, the potency gets less and less. Uh, the other thing you're going to use in this one, this is the quick and easy recipe, is aloe vera gel. Um, you can buy this anywhere. Well, maybe you can't right now. Uh, and then, thanks to my daughter, she had a bunch of this stuff. We're going to actually use tree, tea tree oil. It's an essential oil. You don't have to use that. I mean, you can use eucalyptus. You can use peppermint. You can use, you know, any kind. But that's just going to give it... Yeah, a bit, little bit better flavor. I want to tell you on the up, up and up on this one. This is going to be a little thick, and it's also going to be a little sticky when you're done with it. But let, why don't we get into it? Uh, you ladies will recognize this. Uh, this is just a bottle from dyeing your hair. All right. And what's nice about it, it is graduated on the side. It's got you know ounces. So how this works? We're going to use three parts isopropyl alcohol so open this up and you should have several of these around anyhow uh, I have a towel here because I'm not a very very clean pourer here so we're gonna put three parts of isopropyl alcohol all right three ounces of isopropyl alcohol and one part of the aloe vera gel so that's going to bring us up to four ounces. Four ounces. And then the tea tree. Just you don't need much. Just a couple two. A couple drops will go. There's like a half of one right there. Three. Actually smells not too bad. So we'll put the cap on here. And then we're just going to get it all mixed up. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. It's not supposed to blow up. But now it's green. And, and you know, a lot of this stuff you've seen uh, Walgreens sells it. Speaking of Walgreens, um, the other day I was going through stuff, which I've told you guys always to go through your inventory of stuff that has dates on it. This is uh, just a couple hand sanitizer things. There's another one. Uh, it's got a little bit left in there, but it doesn't make any difference. Bath and Body Works. Um, and on the top here, these both expired. One was 11 of 16, and the other one was 7 of 16. So what I did is, they're mostly all gone anyhow. Uh, I just took it out, cleaned it out. And now, what's so great about this is you can just tip it over. And you can fill this bottle right back up. And there you have hand sanitizer in that bottle. And let's use a little bottle. Show you that this really has got a smaller neck. Just tip it over. And you can fill that one up. And 
just kind of there it is you know so and what I would do is get a magic marker and cross out that date and put another date that uh, you made this 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 isopropyl alcohol actually is 10 of 2021 so there you go but that is the quick and easy recipe just a couple of drops in your hand and clean your hands right up actually smells pretty good and it is a little sticky like most hand sanitizer the the thicker stuff uh, so but now I've got two vials and I actually let's see how much this this will fill this one up I don't think it's gonna fill it all the way up but I could be wrong here all right, it didn't fill it all the way up but that's okay um, because we'll just make some more and fill it up the rest of the way uh, so don't throw these away I mean they come in really handy and you can make this at any time because you're gonna have this uh, on hand so that was the quick and easy recipe that was three parts isopropyl alcohol one part aloe vera and a few drops of tea tree oil and don't worry about uh, writing all this stuff down I'm going to uh, hold up a big sign thingy that uh, has the whole recipe and all that kind of stuff. So the other part, we don't need this anymore. We still need this though. Uh, the other part is called the better recipe. And what we're going to do is use 12 ounces of isopropyl alcohol, two table teaspoons of, uh, glycerol or glycerin, whichever, uh, food grade, and then one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, three fluid ounces of distilled water or boiled water. Uh, since I'm not allowed to go to the store to buy stuff, they tell me, we just boiled water. All right, so since this stuff can also be, oh, you can also add some essential oils also. What's nice about this, this is also, also can be used in a spray because it's going to be a little thinner. So let's get started. We have our little thing here. So we need 12 ounces of isopropyl alcohol. There's 12 ounces. This could be a disaster. Let's see what happens. This is fun. I shouldn't be talking while I'm doing this because I'm not allowed to walk and chew gum either. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so there's your isopropyl alcohol. And then you have your glycol or glycerol and you're going to use two tablespoons i think the cap yeah the caps off of this so two tablespoons not a lot you know so you got the tablespoon thing here so we're gonna and this is pretty liquidy it's a little thick yes i missed okay but We'll just add a little bit more. How much did I miss? Let's turn it around and see. Oh, I didn't miss. I thought I missed. Okay, so it went on the inside. Um, and then hydrogen peroxide. I think this is a new bottle. Yeah, it's a new bottle. Uh, remember one of my other videos about uh, my dogs getting skunked? Well, this is a key ingredient right here is your hydrogen peroxide uh, for your dogs. Uh, you should always have multiple of these. These on hand, Dawn dish soap. And um, I don't remember the entire recipe, but you can always check it out on that video uh, about getting skunked. Okay, one tablespoon hydrogen, pero oh, oh, hydrogen peroxide. This is crazy. Well, if I had a cut on my hand, it'd be clean right now. So that's, you know, that's something about it. Uh, so that's that, and that, and that. And then three fluid ounces of distilled water. This is going to be really fun. Okay, guys? So I'm going to pour from here. Let me move the recipe real quick. Three fluid ounces. Of distilled or other water so you're just gonna pour that in there All 
All right, so there's the three ounces of water. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I use eucalyptus? Should I use peppermint or tea tree? We already got tea tree over there. It's, what's eucalyptus even smell like? I don't even know. Yeah, why not? A couple drops of eucalyptus. Two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so there's the eucalyptus. Hey, I just want you to know this room has never smelled better. My wife will probably make the same comment. Alright, so let's just wipe off the neck here. Alright, put the sprayer in. So again, you're probably going to want... I would use a piece of like uh, duct tape or masking tape on here and then put the date that you made it. Or not so much, the, but the date that the um, isopropyl alcohol uh, expires. Um, I don't see a date on the hydrogen peroxide, but I could be wrong. I have to ch I'd have to check that. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, 9 of 21. So you got 9 of 21, 10 of 21. Do nine and a half of 21 um, for your uh, for it to end. But that is it. I'm just going to oh, mix it up. Sorry. And it's going to spray on here. All right, bring it down a little bit. And see what you can do now is you just get your paper towel here. It's not like I'm from Chicago. Paper towel. Actually, doesn't smell very bad at all. And see, then you can just wipe your surface. You know, you can use this on doorknobs. You can do this on the handle of your car. Well, maybe you shouldn't do it on the handle of your car. I don't know what it would do to your clear coat. Uh, but your steering wheel, uh, when you're out and about and you're constantly using uh, hand sanitizer, leave a little bit of this stuff on your hands. Do your steering wheel. You know, your keys, your key fob. Don't soak it, but your keys also because you're touching stuff. Anything that your hands touch, you should be using. Um, so that's it. I mean, that's the basic thing to, to make in all this. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. And let me grab. Here it is, in a nutshell. All right. In a nutshell, here is, let me get my fingers out of the way. Grab this and hold it up here so you can kind of see, you know, you got the quick and easy recipe on one side, the better recipe on the other. It just kind of lists everything. Um, with the quick and easy, use a, you know, use a smaller squeeze bottle. It's not super thick. It really isn't. I mean, it still comes out pretty good, but you're not going to want to spray it. And then on the other side, uh, you're going to want to use a spray bottle. Um, it's just easier, plus uh, it actually opens up the uh, stuff that you can use it for so that is it like the one side is three parts isopropyl alcohol one part aloe vera gel and a few drops of i have tea tree oil down there it doesn't matter it could be any essential oil um will be a little thick and a little sticky but the stickiness doesn't last very long okay the other side is 12 ounces of isopropyl alcohol two tablespoons of glycerol or glycerin food grade please and then one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, three fluid ounces of distilled water or boiled water. It's easy to boil it, you know, unless you're, you're not a very good cook and you can't even boil water. Uh, and then um, a few drops of an essential oil. And that's it. So you should have had plenty of time to write this down, maybe if you write as slow as I do. But that's it. You know, uh, you could always take it, you know, stop the video and, and look at it that way. Um, but man, it smells good in here. But anyhow, there you go. I'll bend down a little bit. There you go. Uh, there is the video on how to make your own hand sanitizer or, um, yeah, hand sanitizer or uh, surface sanitizer. So that's it. I uh, hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. I hope this helps you out. Uh, you can get this stuff, you know, pretty much anywhere. Amazon, uh, Walgreens, uh, CVS, Osco, all that, you know, kind of good, good places. Uh, if you have any comments about this video, please make the comments. Please watch the video all the way through. We appreciate this. Send this on to all your friends and neighbors and even, even your frenemies. That would be okay too. 
Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any better ways of doing this or other ideas, uh, let me know that too, uh, so we can post that along with the video for people. Um, like I said, if you like the video, please like the video. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe to our channel, Prep You, and ring that bell. Uh, then you'll instantly get our videos as soon as they come out. Uh, also, check out our playlist. I don't think this one, per se, is really going to be on a playlist. It's going to be all by itself because I really don't have anything else that goes along with it. Uh, well, maybe the skunked one. That's kind of another recipe. Maybe I'll, yeah, maybe I'll link this up or like put this playlist together with the uh, I've Been Skunked uh, video, which is always nice, and you only have to go one place uh, for it. Go to our Facebook page. Check out pictures on there. Um, we appreciate that. If you've got pictures and you want to post on, you know, send it to us on, on our Facebook page and we'll take a look at it too. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, always be aware of your surroundings. Be prepared to be on your own for 72 hours and beyond. Don't forget to double check your stores. Figure out what you didn't have for this pandemic and get it and double up what you used. Uh, other than that, prep like your life depends on it because we're all learning out. And those people that didn't thought that we were crazy, they're all learning that your life really depends on it. Or at least your health, too. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care. Hope you and your family are safe. See you next time.